Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. We're going to continue on our select case uh, course. Um, and this is uh, example two of three. A couple more cool things that you can do. In the last video, we basically plugged in a uh, basically an advanced if then statement. So if they chose, if they put the number one in there, it would do that. Alt F8, let's rerun that code. If you put two, well, that wasn't one of our choices. How about three? Um, and run the macro say that's more than one. If we put four in there, it would say too much. So let's look at the code really quick before we move on to our new example. So we said select case, and what were we selecting? We were in this case we were selecting the range A2. That's this cell right here, A2. And then we started analyzing cell A2's value without a lot of extra keystrokes. In an if-then scenario, you'd have to say if range A2 equals 1, then blah blah blah. Otherwise, else if range A2 equals 3, then... In this case, you just say select the case of this stuff. So, in case it's 1, then do this step. Case 3, so if it's 3, if it's 4, or otherwise, case else is otherwise. So, wow, that's a lot less keystrokes. Now, I'm going to show you how to save even more keystrokes. Because if you were doing an if then statement and you wanted to say um, if, the, if it was 3 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 11, for example, then you would have to say if range A2 equals 3 or range A2 equals 5 or range A2 equals da, 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 then and then blah. In this, when you're using case, check this out. Let's do that. Let's do case 3 or 5 or 6 or 7 or 8 or 11. Bam! That's all you have to do. How freaking cool is that? So what we're saying now, we're going to analyze uh, cell A2. So Alt-11 to go back. We're analyzing by using the word select case, checking out A2, and its value is currently 4, but we're saying if it's a 1, then plop in the word 1 into cell B2. If it's a 3, or a 5, or a 6, or a 7, or an 8, or an 11, or the word hi yeah I did that, that happened or the word hi then put more than one in cell B2 oh, and if it's a four then say too much anyway I'm not going to waste your time I'm going to show you that really quick I'm going to hit three alt F8 and I ran it, how about if it was a f uh, how about if it was a five Alt F8, hit enter. Oop, same thing. How about if it's a 4? Alt F8, enter. Too much. But how about 11? We remember that one was on there, right? Alt F8. Hmm, more than 1. How about if I put the word high in there? Alt F8. Interesting. I'm going to erase it just to, just to prove to myself that it worked. Double click. Hey, the word high is in there, so it says more than 1. So that's pretty sweet. Now, tune in next time. The next video on case or select case is actually going to blow your mind. There's something even more dynamic and incredible that you can do uh, besides just doing um, or this or that or that or that. There's an even more dynamic test using a range of, of numbers that you can do. So it's very simple, and we'll show you that in the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless.